tonight. If you have plans to head to Railroad Park for Light the Night, where Sherry Ashley and I will be later on, you might want to bring some rain gear, as our chief meteorologist has done live there tonight with the first check of your forecast, Ash. Yeah, thanks, Jack. Rain gear is necessary. We are covered here, but I tell you what, with the winds at around 20 miles per hour, that rain is moving in a bit sideways. So folks, just prepare yourself because we're still having lots of fun out here tonight in spite of the rain. All right, we're looking at a uh, so bit of a soggy night across all of central Alabama right now. I expect that that rain will continue uh, at least for the next couple of hours. Uh, the radar is showing that heaviest rainfall, though, well south of I-20 with kind of a shield of wet weather kind of north. So the Birmingham Metro light rain, but it's going to be persistent light rain. And then as we look in other parts of our viewing area, you notice that very heavy rain down Chilton County that continues to move out and actually pretty quickly that stretching all the way over towards Lineville and Wadawi and will continue to make the move towards that Georgia state line. So temperatures right now, not all that bad, but notice the numbers to our north in the 50s. That cold air is on the way coming up. I'm going to let you know how cold it's going to be getting we could be seeing temperatures dropping nearly 20 degrees in the next 24 hours. And I'll let you know how chilly it could be for that football game on Saturday. Here's a little tease for you though. No rain Saturday for the big match, but it is going to be a cold game. Details coming up in your storm team seven day forecast. Jack. Cuddle all